Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to welcome you to this session on models of blended learning. The learning outcomes. By the end of this session, you will be able to give simple description of the term models of blended learning. State two types of models of blended learning and mention at least five qualities of models of blended learning. The models of blended learning. There are different models of facilitating blended learning. It should be noted that the differences notwithstanding, there are levels of overlap among the different models to the extent that the exact parameters of each model are subject to interpretation. The different types are the fleet classroom model, the enriched factual model, the individual rotation model, the flex model, and the a la carte model. I have before me here a brief explanation of some of the models. I want us to start with the flip classroom model. The flip classroom gives teachers the opportunity to facilitate the completion of educational projects and to support students as they practice using concepts learned independently. Why the enriched factual model is a method, though similar to flipped classroom, but primarily it is online, but also face-to-face -face with a face-to-face -face session with the teacher uh, that are taking the learners through the learning session. The individual rotation model, in its own case, in this model, uh, learners are taken through a variety of different educational settings, such as independent study, learning in small groups, collaboration with other learners sessions, learner other learners, and whereas the, the, the learners are also conduct learning is also conducted by the teacher for the whole group and as well through individualized interventions. Fixed schedules may be used in place of customized learning if needed. Learning can as well be carried out online or in person, which is the same thing as face-to-face. -face. The flex model. This is a self-paced student briefing model which is devised to assist the returning learners who had not completed their high school education. The components of the model can be used for intervention opportunities, while breakout rooms, lab exercises, and collaboration is also included among the learners. The a la carte model. The a la carte model also involves a certain amount of student self-direction. This time at the level of individual course selection, learner can choose from a menu of a la carte options for supplemental topics. These individual classes are often conducted entirely online with a remote teacher of record. The attributes and characteristics of blended learning. The blended learning helps to activate student engagement or attention. It helps learners to develop new skills. It arouses learners' understanding and assessment that align with learning goals. It encourages collaboration among students and encourages learners to connect their understanding with meaningful activities. Similarly, it helps students when they struggle with new concepts or ideas. Help students to gain deep understanding of a topic or subject. Help students to evaluate a range of different ideas or practices. Help students to understand the limits of knowledge and above all, challenges students to go beyond their current level of thinking or practice to acquire deeper understanding or a higher level of competency.
I'm very happy indeed for your patience and carefully listening to uh, the presentation. Thank you.